Hello everybody! Welcome back! This is the second part of the tutorial where we're going to make a logo uh, based on an, on, a, on an existing image, in this case it's a photograph. And in part one what we did was we just uh, extracted the silhouette from the, the dog in this case. <clears throat> and um, well, uh, let's begin with part two. And what we're going to do today is um, we're going to make some adjustments to the the foreground here, the red the red uh, dog. Uh, if you have a look at the two hind legs, um, it looks as if they were glued together, and the front two legs look as if um, they were right, you know, side by side instead of one in front of the other, as you can see here in the image. So we are going to make some changes. I'm going to right click on the photograph and just it's already locked good and um, <clears throat> and I'm going to use the shape tool to uh, select one of these nodes here and simply break them apart now as you can see um, it's no longer a solid gapless object that's why um, it's no longer red because the fill color you can't fill a gapless object so um, double click here, I'm going to double click, I'm going to just double click here and then I'm going to pick um, one of the nodes and extend it, but like so, I'll extend it up to here actually, all right and just um, make it a little bit smoother and move this up a little actually I don't want it to affect the nodes before that so I'm going to select this um, node selector here so that it won't affect anything below it and um, just uh, round this off a little bit. Okay, I think that's okay. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Gonna double click to make an additional node. Break this apart. And then I am going to, hang on. What's this one? I'm just going to extend this one a little bit higher. Right, not it's a bit too high actually. Right, and curve it a bit like so. Okay, and the same thing here. Double click. Break this one apart and just going to extend this. Actually, um, this doesn't look very, very nice. So I'll just double click here, delete it, and move this one up a little bit. Okay, extend this one. Uh, I'm going to pull it up to his chest over here and curve it. Okay, well there you have it. Uh, just so you can see the difference, I'm going to just pull it apart for a minute like that. Now you can see that you know the hind leg here is in front of the other one, and the same for his left foot. Okay, now for the next part, we're just going to copy the silhouette, paste into a blank sheet. And um, I'm going to try to get rid of excessive nodes here. Because for the following task, uh, it won't have such a nice effect if there are too many nodes. So I'm going to select some nodes that are maybe unnecessary. 
Um, you can just reduce them and this will smoothen up a little bit. Okay, like that. Uh, here as well. Just reduce them a little bit. Reduce them to one. Um, this doesn't look very round, does it? So I'm going to pull these two handles. Like that. Let's uh, round them up. Here we go. Pull them up so it becomes nice and a nice curved belly. Okay. And once it's curved, I can actually get rid of the, the node. Actually, no, I can't. Right here, I'm going to take this off and this one. Don't need it, won't make any difference. Just take away unnecessary nodes. Um, take this one off. Right, smoothen this up a little bit. Okay. Now here I want to make uh, be a little bit more pr pricked, so to speak. Okay. Take this one off. Right. Um, and I think we're okay, except for this. This looks a little bit messy. We'll take both of them off. Right. Won't make such a big difference there. Okay, I think this is okay. Hang on. We don't need this one. Okay. Now, what we need to do now is um, to break apart certain segments where there's go they're going to be there's going to be just one brush stroke. So I'm going to make one from here. Well, actually. Yeah, from here to here. So I'm going to break this apart here. Another one here. This is going to be a nice long brush stroke up to about here. And then we've got another one up to the corner of his tail. This is going to be one long one up to here. A nice long one here. Um, this is going to be one l nice long one. This is going to be a nice one, a nice long one as well. Um, up to here. I'll take this away. We don't need this one. We won't need this one either. Break it here. Take this one away. Won't need it. Uh, one underneath his belly and do the rest so that you will have just large and long sorry long brush strokes it's going to be one long one that's from here all the way down to here This is going to be one up to here. Um, this is going to be one up to here. The ear is going to be one complete one up to here. Okay, and I think we have um, them all. Now if I were to select one of those segments, it won't make any difference because it's all sort of locked together. So in order to unlock them, you simply break them apart control k now i can take each individual fragment away okay all right now what we're going to do is we're going to make our own brush stroke for this so um go to the next page and we are going to make the brush stroke so i'm going to start off with I'm going to uh, convert it to curves so I can toggle uh, with the nodes. 
like so. I'm going to make this a cusp node so that I can sharpen it. Hang on, that's not cusp. Cusp, okay, here we go. So I can make the edges, each of the edges of the brush stroke a little bit sharper. Okay, again here, doesn't have to be symmetrical. In fact, I'm going to change this a little bit like so. And right, okay, um, I'm going to leave this I'm going to give this a, 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 a wine red and I'm going to make a copy of this um, so that I can make another sort of shade to it. Okay, let's see. Right, so it's going to be like so. Um, this is going to be a red. I'm going to take off the outline. Okay, again, this is just my way of doing it. I mean, you you probably have um, other color combinations that you'd like. I'm now going to um, use the blend tool and I'm going to blend these two colors together like that. I don't need such a large number of gradient fills so I'm just going to leave it at to 10 actually I should have done that before shouldn't I so back 10 and then there we go okay that looks that looks good enough okay and um, oh, hang on that's not what I want okay leave that here and now I'm going to make this a brush stroke so um, group them all together so you don't see them you know going around places you don't want them to be and um, now you can select I or from the fly up menu just go to artistic media and go to custom here it says no strokes available because you we're going to save this one so we save it and we're just going to give this a uh, I'm going to call this dog brush Okay, so there you have it. Go back to the drawing and remember that it will only work if you have the line segments uh, separated like this. Now I'm going to replace the line segment here for the brush stroke that I've just created. So press I, custom, and choose the one that I want. Now notice it's very, very, very thick. I don't want it thick. So you can toggle the width of the stroke here like that. And I think I'm going to leave it at three actually a little bit. 2.5 is a good number. So click on this segment, stroke, and it automatically records the width, which is pretty cool. Now, um, I could click on it one by one, but I'm just going to select them all, or most of them are rather, custom, and then go back to the stroke here. The same I will do here. I custom, and choose your personalized brush stroke, and you should have something like this. Now, there's something that um, I should have told you before, but um, hopefully it's not too late. Um, actually, it's a, it's a wee too thick, so I'm going to select them all, press I, and right, two is good. There we go. Okay. Um, the, before you do anything uh, here, make sure you have a copy of the solid foreground. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it here. Now, in order to have a sort of nice effect to it, I'm going to take off the outline and I'm going to, pressing the shift button, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller than the rest. So you should have, okay, something like this. You should have something along these lines. 
you can use the cursor keys to nudge the object around to suit your liking. Okay. Or uh, indeed, you can just uh, change the color of this so you can see that there is uh, um, an outline and just move this foreground to the background and you'll see something like that. Okay. Let's uh, move on to the next part of the tutorial then.